Some bikes are part of a scene. Others, like the P120 fighter, are the scene. Cranking 160 horsepower from its 120 cubic inch radial twin, Confederate Motors' latest not only guns it and runs it, it blazes a distinct and stylized path in American motorcycling. This is the black flag version of the P120 fighter, and clearly it doesn't look like anything else out there on the road. What's cool about Confederate from a design point of view is that they really challenge every single piece on the bike and think of, why does it even have to look the way it does? Why does it have to go where it does? It takes 120 hours to assemble the 480 parts on the fighter, and many of those parts aren't found in the usual places. The underslung dual exhaust puffs onto the rider's gear shifting foot. The oil tank is a canister just below the handlebars, with windows on either side that show the 2050 oil churning. The P120 fighter has a hot rod-esque 63-inch wheelbase and a 240-millimeter balloon for a back tire but its rake and trail are well proportioned, so while it didn't exactly corner like a Ducati, it didn't send me into oncoming traffic either. There's a level of menace to the P120 fighter. The transmission drive belt is exposed and could very well have chewed off my boot if the pegs weren't placed properly. This seat looks like your butt could be stuck in a bear trap, but it's actually pretty comfortable. This is not a bike for the arthritic. The clutch is stiff. Confederate's inspiration for the P120 fighter was the outlaw motorcycle clubs of the 60s. Outlaw motorcycling being born from World War II fighter pilots, it follows that Confederate would look to aircraft for some of the P120 fighter's inspiration, such as its riveted monocoque backbone, bulkhead, and fuselage side plate construction, which are all made from aircraft grade aluminum. The squishy rubber buttons and silver toggle switches that operate the turn signals, horn, ignition, and high beams are more likely to be found in the cockpit of a Piper Cub than a motorcycle. Starting at 72 grand, the P120 fighter isn't cheap, nor is it common. Just 63 will be produced, making the P120 fighter the perfect rebel yell for the rich. For the Los Angeles Times, I'm Susan Carpenter.